Hi, welcome along to another video. As usual, the links to all the articles are in the info section of this video. You can look further into all the stories at your leisure. We start on a website called The Conversation. So the article is about despite clear skies during the pandemic, greenhouse gas emissions are still rising. This is from June the 19th. This is about Indonesia. Since May, the Indonesian government has been preparing to create rain over Sumatra and Borneo islands. While there are immediate efforts such as cloud seeding to create rain, also in the Jakarta globe from April the 28th, the Environment and Forestry Ministry said it will use artificial rains to extinguish escalating forest and land fires in Sumatran peatlands in May. In America, Alpine Pilot wins prestigious award. This is from the Odessa American. He flies cloud seeding operations for Transpecos Weather Modification Association. So this Alpine Pilot wins prestigious award. We can't look at the article from the UK for 451 legal stuff but we can look at Transpecos Weather Modification Association's website. It seems there's only data up to 2018. You can go on this site and check it. You can also check the West Texas Weather Modification Association website and there's also the South Texas Weather Modification Association for you to look into. The South Texas Weather Modification Association first formed in 1996 and conducted its first cloud seed in mission the following year. After 20 years in existence, the STWMA, based in Pleasanton, continues to perform seeding operations over multiple counties in south-central Texas. Current Texas weather modification permits rain enhancement only using cloud seeding techniques and materials, as in the Panhandle Groundwater Conservation District, South Texas Weather Modification Association, Transpecos Weather Modification Association, SOAR program, Rolling Plains. All these licenses were issued a couple of years ago, and as you can see, they're due to expire. One's expired this year, one next year, three in 2022, and one in 2023. So hail suppression and rain enhancement using cloud seeding techniques and materials. That's the West Texas Weather Modification Association. Hail suppression only using hail cannons as building farms. That license is until 2023. So current Texas weather modification licenses. All licenses valid until September the 1st, 2020. Although the previous piece would counteract that. Over to the Real News Network. Climate crisis. Keystone XL Supreme, Cap and Trade takes hit, and California Geoengineering. California Geoengineering. As recently reported by The Real News, the state's climate leadership is toying with the idea of geoengineering in recent months by considering a technique called direct air capture. So you all know that as carbon sequestration, but it's not the only technology under consideration by the state's climate policymakers. The California Strategic Growth Council is also seemingly considering another technique called Solar Radiation Management SRM, in partnership with a team of researchers convened by Harvard University calling the coalition Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment SCOPEX. SCOPEX. The group says it will engage in a scientific experiment to advance understanding of stratospheric aerosols that could be relevant to solar geoengineering. So look out California. You're just about to be experimented on again after 60 years of weather modification and more. You remember from previous reports where we said about Ward County in America, citizens voting not to do weather modification over the current year. It says weather modification has stopped in North Dakota, USA. It's also stopped a couple of years ago in Tasmania, as reported in the last video. And we've got good news out of India, from southern India. No cloud seeding in Karnataka this year. This is from the Deccan Herald on June the 20th. Karnataka State Natural Disaster Monitoring Centre said that the cloud seeding project has been dropped in Karnataka this year. So they're looking into landslides caused by, caused by cloud seeding. As you know from the Kerala floods, where people have died, 
It's been getting a bit obvious that the cloud seeding is out of control in Karnataka. It's good they've stopped. Here's a book for you. Harp, the ultimate weapon of the coincidence. A conspiracy, sorry. The ultimate weapon of the conspiracy, that's by Jerry E. Smith. A story in uh, Axios, where the game theory of using geoengineering to fight climate change. It's from June the 20th. It's not a very positive article. The upshot is that just the existence of the option of geoengineering can nudge the two opposing sides into agreeing on tougher climate action. Yes, but, game theory aside, the worse climate change gets, the more likely one or more countries might try geoengineering to save themselves. That's why we'd be better off ramping up experiments on geoengineering now, so we know better what it can do, and what it shouldn't do. The author of this article, Brian Walsh, has just volunteered him good sir, his good self, uh, family, their family, their pets, their local area where they live, their residential area, all their neighbours. Thank you, Brian Walsh, for volunteering yourselves up for that experiment so that we know better what it can do and what it shouldn't do. Thank you, Brian. Let us know how you get on once all the solar radiation management has been deployed over your house. Thank you. Over to AccuWeather, the weather experts. Can scientists really make it rain? If you fancy a history lesson, there's some good information in this article. But it, the article does tend to lean toward scepticism. Even though they give plenty of information where it's being done, or has been done. So the attitude is this. Is cloud seeding the penicillin of meteorology a cure-all for weather conditions affecting an area? Can scientists really just make it rain? Or is it something less viable and reliable? And their cloud seeding is a type of weather modification. So they're not going to mention other types of weather modification. Just deal with cloud seeding. Chemist Vincent Schaefer invented cloud seeding in 1946 while studying cloud formation for General Electric. And it, it has been practiced worldwide ever since. Cloud seeding programs were taking place in more than 50 countries as of 2017, according to the World Meteorological Organization. So to question whether it's viable and reliable when it's been done for 80 years, surely it would have stopped 60 years ago if it wasn't viable. After 20 years, people would have gone like, well, let's not do that. So it must be viable. It doesn't take you 80 years to work out whether something's viable or even real and happening. Can scientists control the rain? <laughs> you know, <laughs> can scientists control the weather? Mm, is it real? Is it not? Oh, I don't know. Might be. Might not be. Deep scepticism still surrounds cloud seeding. Well, not really. You'd have to come up with some <laughs> vague information to back that one up. This is back over to Indonesia and from the Jakarta Post from June the 23rd, calling for better forest fire mitigation. Weather modification was introduced in Riau and other areas of Sumatra during a critical phase from April to May. We will continue to do this. In the Antara news, government sees dramatic increase in forest fires. Rain engineering using weather modification can help mitigate the crisis. Rain engineering can be performed based on the analysis of the Meteorological, Climatology and Geophysics Agency and carried out by the Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology with the support of Air Force aircraft. The first phase was very important because it coincided with the COVID-19 pandemic and AID. So a religious festival and uh, flu virus makes the first phase of weather modification important because they coincide. Nice logic. Like it. And the article goes in depth into uh, areas of weather modification and what what it's going to cure as far as they're concerned by the time it gets to reuters a couple of days later coronavirus cuts force indonesia to scale back forest protection and then right at the end of the article a cloud seeding program to try and induce more rainfall to prevent fires was started in may earlier than usual the union of concerned scientists science for a healthy planet and safer world new issue brief Strengthening Public Input on Solar Geoengineering Research. This article talks about the lack of legislation in the United States. Maybe they need to team up with zero geoengineering. Over to the AP News, Russia's anti-cloud program defeated on Victory Day. This is from 2017. So Russia has always done this. 
Cloud Seeding for its Victory Day Parade. First heard about this in the 1980s in media reports. So from the 2017 article, for years authorities have tried to ensure clear skies for the Moscow Parade by conducting cloud seeding. In the Australian, recently Putin shows off new weapons at Victory Day Parade. Cloud seeding technology said to cost $2.3 million insured clear skies. The Times from the UK, June 24th, Putin clears the skies to bask in Victory Parade as a subscription site. But we can just see there right at the very bottom before it fades out. The Kremlin offered little meaningful economic support to workers and businesses affected by the lockdown, but no expense has been spared for the Red Square Parade and Moscow has spent 113 million rubles on cloud seeding. So that was a roundup of some recent news articles. Thanks for watching. Take care. Look after yourselves. See you next time.